For dinner, I made chicken with taco seasoning. We have red onions, red peppers, green peppers. And then in here, I have red onion, tomatoes, cilantro, and some lime juice. I also have sour cream, cheese, lettuce, avocados, the works, and low-carb tortillas, which this Mission brand, very good, very soft. I'm not even really a tortilla person, but no complaints about these. Buy them over and over again. We're having leftover chicken tacos, and the kids wanted fish, so we've got some salmon with dill, um, pepper, what else? Lemon juice, a little bit of mayonnaise, garlic powder, onion flakes. Hi everyone, it's Tarnished Treasures, and this is a view that I love. The lights reflected into the window. Right now I'm currently taking off the ornaments and the lights from the tree. All the needles are falling off as we do it, and they're really pokey, so I'm fine with getting rid of this tree. This is our new one that arrived today and probably by Friday night it will have lights on it and the ornaments back on. And I've put the holiday on to keep me company as I take these ornaments off. All the ornaments are off and the lights <laughs> and it is bare. And now I need to vacuum all that up. Steamed broccoli and salmon for dinner. I'm going to finish the rest of the movie. Everything's vacuumed up right now. I opened up the new tree box. Ornaments are safe. It's out and it left a trail. We've never had a tree, even when we've taken it down in January, leave a trail like that. Psst. I was at Big Lots today and I believe that this was under $3. Peppermint mocha, apple chai cider, and orange cranberry. And I have, I got a pack for me and a pack for my daughter. And I have the orange cranberry on now. And this is very nice. And it's got an SPF of 20. At Ollie's, I found this book, Cozy White Cottage Season, Seasons, 100 Ways to Be Cozy All Year Long. And earlier, I think this year or last year, somebody shared this book. And uh, I found it for $6.99 at Ollie's. I think the list price was $27, so I was happy to pick that up for a, a discount. I feel like I've been living at the grocery stores and I still have to go back because I wasn't able to find everything and I also want to get like the freshest seafood that I can. But I also don't want to be out on Christmas Eve because the roads are crazy and parking lots are crazy. But it is what it is. So the kids had a half day today. They'll probably be home in about 10, 15 minutes. And I'm going to surprise them with a pizza. And this is a DiGiorno crispy pan crust. My daughter had it at her friend's house and liked it so much she kept talking about it. So I texted her mom to find out what it was. And then I'll surprise them. So I'll wait till the bus goes by and then I'll pop it in. I also found this Sprite winter spiced cranberry. Look how cute the can is. So I have had the ginger ale cranberry, which is really good and a nice thing I think to pick up at Christmas time for guests and to mix in with drinks. And my students told me that Sprite had one, but it says, it doesn't just say cranberry, it says winter spiced. So I decided to get that and the can is so cute. I might just keep a can and display it next year for Christmas. It's a rainy day outside, so I've got a lot of the little lights on. So it's special when the kids come home and my amaryllis is fine, even though it took a topple. Paper white is doing well. Last night, my husband put the tree up and uh, also worked on the lights. I think you already saw that. So today, I've been adding the ornaments here and there, like before I took the kids to school and before the grocery store was open. So I've just got a few more. So we bought this from Balsam Hill. I mean, wonderful shipping. It came in three days. So I cannot beat that around this time of year but we should have gone for the seven foot. Um, but I mean, the, the price difference was at least $150 more. <laughs> it's fine. I told my husband, maybe he could build some type of box that it could sit on. And then we would actually be able to put a lot of presents under the tree instead of coming out into the room because with our other tree and um, the real trees, I mean, 
the, the presents were in front of the tree and with a small room, having them under works better. So I'm just sharing those thoughts for anybody who was maybe interested in buying that brand. Um, I, we would have gone with something taller. This came in the tree box. I thought it was perfect, this little like folded piece. So my daughter did that. And when my son saw it, he was just amazed. How did you do it? the white and the pink? <laughs> so today, hopefully when they come home, they'll continue to add to this. But my daughter thinks it's so cute. She's like, look, nobody can see what's there. <laughs> and they've always done a no peeking sign. It's just something fun to keep them busy and creative. One of my errands was to go to the Goodwill and donate the last bag of stuff that I had. So I did that, very happy it's out of my house and out of my car. And I stopped in and I picked up a few things. I was really happy to find this for only $6. And it was even taped shut, like that was not like peeled up, no one looked in it, it was just fully shut and brand new. And it's a milk frother. I almost bought one yesterday. I had one from a yard sale and it never um, worked consistently. Something about just the way the batteries were held in, but when it worked, it was great. And you could do uh, like a tablespoon or two of cream in a coffee mug and basically make whipped cream. And then you could pick your own sweetener or put no sweetener in. So it's you know great if you were doing keto or low carb. So I've always wanted one and I think they're about $20 what I've seen on Amazon. And I haven't looked in a long time. Well, at Big Lots yesterday, they had a pitcher, a Godiva pitcher with a hot chocolate mix and a frother for 13. And I thought, oh, that's actually a better deal than the last time I checked. But I didn't want the pitcher, I didn't want the hot chocolate, I just wanted the frother. So I put it back and then look what I found today, brand new. And there's batteries in there. So I'm very excited. And it's got even like a little recipe book that shows you or tells you, I don't know, hot chocolate, iced chocolate. I also got this little jewelry box for a great price, $2. And this will come off easily. And I got this to practice engraving. It's a nice thick glass there, especially because of that bevel it's raised. If I make a mistake, it was $2. I mean, I know I'm gonna have to find stuff to practice, but if it turns out, I like this little box. I'll just peel that off. And uh, we have a Dremel tool. Someone commented you could try the Dremel. So I'll see how that goes. I also got a shirt and I wanted a shirt like this to go underneath of the velvet top that has the cow neck because it's a little shorter than what I like to wear. So I want this to be able to hang out and the top is nice and low so it can be hidden. So I don't want it to look like I have two shirts on. I want it to look like I have a red velvet shirt that has like a little silky bottom to it. I guess like a peplum kind of. So that was five. And then I got this bag for like $3.50. $3.50. And it had these interesting glitter letters in here. And I don't know if it spells something or if it's random, but I kept looking at them and kept looking at them and said, just, just give it back. A little gift box. A little black ribbon that says cheers to 90 years. Oh my goodness. Oh, that I bet that was the, whoever it was, the guy when he was a kid. So cute little gift box. Some Victoria Lynn bridal, bridal paper bells. A little white honeycomb with an iridescent tassel. Confetti poppers. Some confetti that says 40, 30, 25. Oh, and there's some sweet little iridescent stars. And 21. That is so... And it said it was a five pack, so I wonder what year they took. 18 maybe? That's so different. That's from the dollar store. And then the glitter letters, which I don't know if these are homemade. I'm assuming they spell something, especially since they're in a Ziploc. So somebody used this to spell something. Seniors, Cheers, Christmas, I don't know. Okay, so there probably was some type of mold and they put a lot of glitter 
and some resin. And I know they'll be able to stand on their own. All right, so let's pick mistletoe, <laughs> two O's. A V, see the V was getting me at the store. An S and a T, E. You could spell stove. Sure, I know, I was like, what other random stuff could we just spell? An L, an I. An S. And Street. A, Street. And the O's are different heights. But it's nice because then the glitter is not oh, flaking no off. Tea. Is it Steelers? But hold on. S T. Daddy would like that E. E. Okay. L. You would need another. An E. <laughs> Can we just say we can't spell? Love. This is a fun game. This is actually, I think, what they say to do in kindergarten. Like, get stuff like this to make it, it fun spelling for kids. Or, like, you, and you leave out, like, one letter. You're so smart. Arrange that and tell us what it should really say. Wait, what does that say? Well, this says nothing. And obviously, you know what that says. But, like, you could mix them up anyway. Can you give me the V? What? The V? Okay. Where's the V? Okay. What can we say either that's New Year's, Celebration, or Christmassy? Mm. Mm. I wonder if there's an app where you can put all the letters in and then it will show you like all the configurations. Is this a. And if there isn't, let's invent it. We figured out these must have belonged to Steve Rolios. <laughs> Sator? Stop! What can you buy at the Elvis store? <laughs> Cutie Patootie has decided it will say elves. And we have leftovers. <laughs> Liver toes. So? <laughs> so I've pulled the vacuum out. I'm getting into the corners. I'm just looking at each piece of furniture and saying, okay, did I put everything out that I wanted to? Um, is there anything that I'd like to donate or get rid of? Um, do I have enough space for my guests and the things that they will come and not feel like too crowded or that they're gonna like break something fragile that's sitting on a table? That's what I'm doing right now. And in doing so, I am finding some things. So I always have this by the front door and we put, um, umbrellas in it but since it's down on the ground in kind of a dark corner I forgot so I pulled that out and I put my amaryllis in it I think that's really pretty it also helps support the tall top heavy stalks I need to go downstairs and get the little like pad so it doesn't scratch so I just have it on a hot pad but that's actually good to have out because as I start to cook and serve in here I will need that stuff out I've prepped the vegetables for dinner Here's a piece of pizza left. My daughter's nibbling on watermelon all day long. And I put a towel here, and that was in the dining room, uh, just where I keep my linens. And I was looking at it and thinking, okay, where am I gonna put this? I kind of just want it for display. I don't want it to be used because it's old and I love it and I got it at a state sale. And I hung it from that handle there. And I think that looks cute and festive. Kind of makes it look like these um, tables that people would do a ruffled skirt around. I was thinking I could even put a bar there and hang another linen. So just an easy way to get something like one of your collections on display. That makes me happy. I have one more bed to put sheets on and I am finished. So I am having, oh, taco, fajitas, whatever you want to call them. Um, I put up this banner that I got at Target, put up my wreath, and then I found some lights that I got last year at Joann's in that cabinet, and I might put those up in the front window. We'll see. Pork chops for dinner, mayonnaise, mustard, oregano, parsley, parmesan cheese, pepper, and garlic powder, and then just some roasted vegetables. Tomorrow morning, I do have to head to the grocery store to pick up a few things. It's not a lot though. 
and then I'm just going to spend the rest of the day at home with the kids. Hopefully have a fire and do a little collaging and looking at my new books. So I'm really looking forward to that. So thanks for watching everyone. I hope your uh, pre-Christmas prep is going well and uh, I'll see you in another video. Bye.